the objective of this video is to create a compound vertical wall type by splitting a layer into separate region. To create a brick solder course, we will see how to split and merge layer to create a region within the wall and how to assign material to individual region. We will also see how to unlock individual layer within the wall to enable them to extend separately to the rest of the wall structure. Open the model 02 vertical compound wall. Now we select this exterior wall because we want to create a, a solder brick between uh, these uh, two levels, okay? And between floor, this floor and this floor in here, that's the idea of creating this uh, compound wall. I select that wall and I go to edit. Now, before starting editing this wall, I, I want to rename it, okay? I want to rename it exterior brick uh, solder on metal stud. And now I go to edit assembly and now I am in the edit assembly. And this is the tools that we will use, modify vertical structure. And if you don't see this, uh, these tools uh, uh, like active, you need to change this view. You need to be in a section view like that. And you can uh, change this uh, sample by going in here and put it like 15 feet. And like th this, this is only a sample, it doesn't change the, the the wall height just like to have an overview how it's look uh, the uh, brick solder in here now what i do i go in uh, split region okay if i go to split region and you see the cursor change like that and if i want to change any layer i just hover over layer and i click on okay i click on and like that you see the wall is spl it's splitting okay now you can uh, you can uh, modify uh, like merge again like if you don't like this you don't want you are doing that in a wrong layer you can merge and it's come again let's uh, now uh, split that and go in like uh, Let's uh, let's go in this. Uh, it's uh, sensitive. You need to be like uh, exact layer. Okay, this one. Okay. Now I will change the uh, dimension in here. How to do that? You select the modify. Okay. It's important. Now, if you hover over, you can select that one and now if i select in here and just put it like 12 feet and now i can change the other one to be uh to be eight inches uh, sorry to be select one feet okay now this one is one feet and this one now we have the, the exact dimension that we want uh, uh, to split and now what we want to do is uh, adding a material uh, the adding material that we want to assign this to this uh, uh, region okay how to do that we select we insert we go in by category clicking on the material button and now searching brick this one solder course okay i select okay now we have we don't add any thickness in here we we had it now what we will do we will select this uh, brick and now we go to assign and now if we click assign layer we go to here you see now it's assigned if i go to select any layer you see it changed now okay it's left only uh this uh, finish one we want to change it to stone okay 
masonry stone okay where this one okay and i click okay now we have the uh, uh, compound wall already uh, uh, already done i go to okay now you see that uh, layer uh, priority cannot you this is uh, this is some uh, sometime you f it's important because if you see here i forgot to put that on finish one that's that's a good uh, uh, that's a good error that we will learn from okay if we go in here and we change finish like that now we can go like that and now we see we have now if i now you see this uh, uh, brick solder course in here apply it to uh, my model last things that we want to uh, uh, that you we want to do is uh, in here you see here i have this wall i need to extend it to uh, to align it with the, the with this basic roof because if you see here i have these layers that uh, that it's not cleaned and i need to clean this joint and align my layer uh, on the top of this roof how to do that i select this wall i go to edit now i get i go to edit assembly and now we have in here these three layers that we want to extend uh, in this uh, uh, to ex extend in in alignment with this uh, top of the roof how to how to do that i select in here modify okay and if i came here i select this edge now you see this padlock it's locked if i unlock it like that this is the trick i select this one unlock it select the, select uh, select this one unlock it now i go to okay okay now you see i have this arrow i can if i go in here you see that i can change now the height of the layer and if you go to this uh, uh, basic wall and you go in here you see this wall was unconnected height and you have this uh, you have in here top extension distance okay and if i change this one you see the top extension distance change in here but if i go and select the roof we have the the thickness of the roof one foot thick if i select this wall and this wall and the other one in here by clicking control and i have my three walls like that and if i go to top extension distance and i put one feet now i have this clean uh this clean alignment with uh, the roof okay that's uh, it's about how to modify the layers in the wall